materials, you will need an egg, a syringe, a measuring cup, a tablespoon measure spoon, a, f a spoon, a tack, vinegar, a bowl, hot water, warm temperature water, <laughs> napkins, and food coloring, and anything else I may have missed. Step 1. Take your tack and your egg and make two holes on either side of your egg. The hole in the bottom should be slightly bigger than the one on the top. Safety warning! The tack is very sharp. Ow! Uh -huh. Very careful. Take your tack and make a small hole at the very precise top of your egg. bigger than it already is because that's a very very small hole and that's insane if you think that you can blow through it but you know what if you can go you now make another incision hole on the very bottom of your egg this one's gonna have to be a little bit bigger than your first hole and it might be a little bit harder to make very very careful. You do not want to damage the egg. You should probably put your bowl underneath it because it's probably going to start coming out right away. The hole on the top of your egg should look like this and the hole in your bottom should be slightly bigger and look like this. Step two. So now you're going to blow the egg white and yolk out of the egg. You're going to have to have a bowl underneath of the egg as you're blowing it out. Otherwise, all the stuff that comes out will go on the table. And that would be bad. Now we're going to blow the yolk and the egg white out of the egg. So you're going to place your lips around the egg as if you were blowing up a balloon. And then you're going to blow all the egg white and the yolk out of the egg. This should take you around five minutes. Ready? Let's go! you should probably take a break because you don't want to get lightheaded or dizzy because you might pass out. Good morning. Don't suck it. Good. Done. Now take the egg that has come out of your egg. And put it in the fridge because it can be reused. <laughs> How do I get it in the fridge? Bye. Step three take your cup and using your syringe, get some water. As much water as it holds because your egg is very dirty. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> then syringe the water into the top part of the egg, the bigger hole, just to rinse it. Take the, the blow into the part where you blow to get any extra water out. Step four, your egg is very wet, so you're going to need to take your napkin that should have been on your egg and wipe it all down to make sure your egg is nice and shiny and shimmering and no longer wet. And you're done! You've blown out your egg perfectly. Look at that little cutie. He's so cute. I just know he's cute. Now it's time to decorate. Step five. You're going to take your hot water in your cup from your tap and place approximately a half a cup of your hot water. Oh golly. <laughs> Now, to your vinegar um, hot water mixture, you are going to add the food coloring of your choice. 
I pick blue. Go away. Now add three drops. Three drops of the food coloring, food coloring of your choice. Take your spoon and mix it. Step eight. Take your egg and dip it into the water. You're going to want to get it all coated all the way around. So you might have to take your spoon and make it go under a little bit. Hold your egg under water for approximately five minutes. Now that's been five minutes, take out your egg carefully with your spoon and grab it with a napkin. It probably will be very warm because the water is so hot and try to get any excess, excess water off of it. water off of it and just make sure there's no water inside of it. <laughs> Blow to get any water out. <laughs> Into the cup. Okay. Now you have your beautiful colored egg with no yolk in it. It's very light, very pretty, and very sweet and soft. Thanks for watching. <laughs>